Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my beauty inventory video. I should have, before I put this up, put up my 2019 beauty resolutions and my reflections on my 2018 beauty resolutions. Now in 2018 I made my inventory and I tracked the monetary value of what my collection was worth, which was horrific and scary, and I started the reverse rouge challenge, which I managed. So last year I actually used up just over $4,000 worth of product. This year I am going to build in that. I am going to do reverse rouge again, so I'm going to be tracking um, how many products that I use up and their monetary value. Also, I just wanted to kind of go into a little bit more detail on my inventory. So last year I told you what my starting totals were and then I tracked how much I used up. This year I want to say what my totals are for each of my categories, but also break that down. Um, I think this is going to be quite a long video so I'm just going to kind of get right on into it. My total collection overall for skincare, hair care and makeup is worth $29,168.91. The way that this breaks down is that makeup is worth $17,441.07. My hair care is the least problematic at being worth $2,117.05 and my skincare is worth $9,610.79. What I'm going to do now is break that down into the different categories within makeup, hair care and skincare and just see what the monetary value of each of those categories are, how many I own and then if I've got any goals about that category. So, face primer. I have got 16 face primers and my total is worth $405.08. This year I would ideally like to use up three or four face primers. Now I've got a couple of minis so what I'm kind of thinking is if I can use some minis up, I might even hit five, but three or four I will be happy with. Eye primer, I have got 12 eye primers and they're worth $134.12. If I could use up three this year, I'd be quite happy. Eye primer is a thing I don't use a lot of. I should because I've got hooded eyes, but I don't. So I, I want that's a category I want to be a bit more diligent about this year. I don't think I used up any eye primers last year or I maybe used up some samples but not any full size products I don't think. Um, so yeah, this year I would definitely like to use up at least two. Foundation, I have got 11 foundations and the total is worth $476.11. Foundation's quite hard for me because sometimes I need to mix shades to get my ideal match. I definitely like to use up three or four foundations this year. Um, and I think in the long run I would like to get like primers down to having like an oily primer and a glowy primer, um, eye primer down to like one because you don't really need any more than one eye primer and foundations again I would quite like to get down to like maybe like five foundations so I could have like a super full coverage matte foundation, like a higher coverage, um, like kind of more dewy finish foundation, like a lighter coverage matte, a lighter coverage dewy um, and then like you know if there's one I'm just kind of dying to try kind of leave room. I still want to be able to enjoy things and play with things um, but yeah I would definitely, I feel like base products I would like to get down a lot overall. I'm not saying I'm going to manage it this year but overall there's a long term goal to get them down. Concealers, I have 14 concealers. They are worth $277.48. I would like to finish up four concealers this year. That's my goal. Correctors, I have four correctors worth $64.79. I would like to use up two this year. That's all I'm going to say. One green corrector, which I'll probably replace so the overall total might not go down, but I would like to use to finish one up. Um, and I would like to finish up one of my under eye correctors. So two correctors this year. Powder, I have 20 powders worth $536.66. I'm going to go for four. If I could use up four powders this year, I'd be happy with that. Again, powder is one that I would really like to just get down to having like two or three at maximum. Contour products, I have five contour products worth $101.17. I don't foresee myself finishing any contour products this year to be totally honest. Bronzer, I have 12 bronzers worth $211.42. Again, I don't really foresee myself finishing any bronzers this year. Blush, I have 91. It's a really problematic category for me. I'm just so attracted to blush. And my blush is worth $1,492.73. If you've watched my 2019 beauty resolutions, you'll know I'm doing discoveries and declutters this year. I'm not going to be about patent products. So I just don't think I'm going to use up any kind of colour products. So I don't see blushes going down, sadly, <laughs> this year. Highlighters, I have 50 highlighters worth $997.62. 
Again, I don't really foresee myself finishing any of them. Eyeshadow singles, I have 76 eyeshadow singles worth $1,547.47. Again, I don't foresee myself finishing any. Small eyeshadow palettes, I have 26 of them worth $1,111.20. Again, I don't really foresee myself finishing any. I don't want to put goals on declutters. I'm just saying what I think I will actually finish up because I don't I don't know my collection well enough. I've got far too big a collection. That's all point in discoveries and declutters is to learn what I actually have and what I enjoy using. But I, I might find that I love all my eyeshadows so I'm just going to keep them until they go off. Um, or I might find that I start using them and go, I hate all these and declutter them all. I am not going to put decluttering goals onto myself, I am only going to declutter things when I feel it's right. I'm not going to do it because I'm like, well I want to declutter 20 blushes so I'm going to find 20 to declutter, like that's just silly. So I'm not doing declutter goals, I'm only doing quantity goals and things I want to finish. Large eyeshadow palettes, so like eyeshadow palettes that have six or more. I have 53 of them and they are worth $2,393.47. Eye crayons I have 18 and they are worth $394.93. Again, I don't feel I'm going to finish any of this. Eyeliners I have 73 worth $1,059.21. Don't feel I'll finish any. Mascaras I have 23 and they are worth $273.86. I have quite a lot of mis mini mascaras, so I'm hoping to use up five mascaras this year. Lip balms and primers, I have 22 worth $245.38. I would like to use up three this year. I think that's realistic. Lip liners, I have 48 lip liners worth $785.41. Don't feel I'll use any up. Lipsticks, I have 138 lipsticks. Yeah, another problematic category. Worth $279, no, $2,799.02. Liquid lipsticks I have 57 of. Notice that I separated these so that I didn't have to say I had that many lipsticks all together in one total. Uh, liquid lipsticks I have $844.50 worth of. Lip gloss I have 29 lip glosses worth $666.99. And then for other I have five others which breaks down to two face palettes, two body like shimmer powders and one setting spray and that category is worth $236.68. I might finish the setting spray this year but if I did I would replace it because I only have one um, and I really like it. Hair care is worth 211705 altogether. That breaks down into pre-wash products. I have three of them worth $40.88 so that is like scalp cleansers. Um, I don't have any Philip Kingsley elasticizer sadly because I finished it all last year. Um, I would definitely definitely repurchase it though but that would be in that kind of category. Anything that you use pre-shampoo basically. Shampoos I have 17 worth $338.36. I would like to use up four this year. Conditioner I have 19 worth $434.35. I would like to use up four this year as well. Exfoliators I have two worth $71. Don't honestly know if I'll finish any of them because I don't actually feel the need to exfoliate my scalp that often which is why I have two two of those products to do the same job that I don't really do. Uh, masks, I have five hair masks worth $110.40. If I could finish one of them this year I'd be quite happy. In shower treatments, I have one in shower treatment and it's worth $9.99. Heat protectors, I have four worth $115. If I could finish two this year I'd be happy with that. Conditioner slash detangle spray like leave-in conditioner. I have seven worth $174.99. Again, if I could use two this year. The only thing is with that, I feel like sometimes putting a heat protector and a leave-in conditioner is a little bit overkill. So although I've put them in separate categories, it might be unrealistic to want to use two of each, but that's what we're aiming for. I have five oils worth $101.18. If I could finish one hair oil this year, I'd be quite happy. Like I don't go through a lot of that. Serums and treatments, I have four of, which are worth $95.48. If I use one, I'll be happy. Low dry products, this is like mousse, volume sprays, etc. This is one of my main categories. I have 19 products worth $241.70. I would like to use up four this year. Some of them are minis, so ideally five would be the dream, but if I could get four, just get it down to like 15 or under, I'd be quite happy. Five texture sprays worth $115.10. If I use up two, I'll be happy. Curl holder, I have one worth $7.79. Hopefully would like to use it up this year. Dry shampoo slash dry conditioner, I have six of them worth $68.04. If I use three, I'll be quite happy. 
um, and then finishing products so like hairsprays and then I've got a couple of like glitter sprays and things that I've just kind of put all in one category. I have 12 of them worth $190.15. I don't use a lot of hairspray. I feel like the texture sprays I like quite often have a hold to them so I don't often feel the need to actually use hairspray as well so if I use one of those products up I'll be happy. Now my skincare is worth $9,610.79. No, $9, that breaks down into makeup removers. I have eight face makeup removers worth $108.93, two eye makeup removers worth $45.79, and one um, thing of face wipes worth $8. I'd like to use one eye makeup remover up. I'll probably finish the wipes, um, I'll probably take them on holiday, uh, and I really just use wipes on the plane. They're not a big category for me, I don't use them at home, so if I take them away and finish them while I'm in holiday this year, that'll be me done for wipes. And then face makeup removers, I'd like to use two to three. Um, the only thing is, like, things like my micellar waters that are like 500 mils. I don't know, maybe it's not realistic to aim for three, but I would like to use three. Three would be the dream. Cleansers, I have 28 cleansers worth $560.56. I would like to use up five cleansers this year. I think that's quite a big commitment, but I know at the moment I have been switching about and I've got three in my bathroom, two of which I think will be done in February and one of which I think should be done in March. So then I'll be then starting on fully unopened new ones, but yeah, I'm hoping for five cleansers. Toners, I have eight toners worth $188.54. I would like to use up three of them this year. Essence, I have three essences worth $39.64. Um, I think I'll finish all three this year. I'm actually, I know one of them I've already finished actually. It's in my January empties, which this is like my start of 2019 total. So technically we're already down to two and one of them is a mini and then one of them is full size. So I think I'll finish all three of those ones that I started 2019 with. Serums, I have 17 serums worth $674.93. Again, some of my serums are like minis or deluxe samples. So I'm aiming for seven which seems quite high, but I'm hoping I can do it. Oils, I have nine oils worth 158.02. If I could finish two oils, we'd call it a day with that, and they'll probably be sample sizes, I'm not gonna lie. I don't use a lot of oil. I really like oils, but they just last for so long. You need so little, so hopefully two. Face masks are a big problem. I have 56 face masks worth $1,204.94. I would like to use 16 which I don't know if that's just absolutely ridiculous, but again, some of them are minis, um, so I'm hoping for 16 face masks. I've then got 42 sheet masks worth $210.47. Sheet masks obviously are like a one use, and then sometimes I keep the essence, and I do have little Muji sheet mask things that you can put in and sometimes get a second use out of, so I don't know. I'm I'm going to try and not use as many sheet masks because I'm, I get really into sheet masks, basically, but I think that's why I have so many face masks and like tubs and tubes that are loitering around because it just seems so much easier to use a, a sheet mask sometimes so if I'm aiming for 16 face masks then sheet masks if I use up 10 just call it 10 because I want to prioritise getting through the actual masks not actual masks but you know what I mean then treatments I have 16 worth $585.54 these are quite specific things like spot treatments or like something for this line so I'm not going to put a total on that because it's there's things that I just use when something flares up or is an issue they're not something I use as part of my routine so I don't foresee myself finishing many. Peels I have 11 worth $191.74. I would ideally like to use three get it down to eight hopefully. I have seven retinol products which are worth $273.13 Again, if I use two, I'd be quite happy. Sprays, I have five sprays worth $48.62. If I use one this year, I'll be happy. Eye creams, I have 13 worth $318.91. I would like to use three up this year. Moisturisers are a big category. I get 39 moisturisers worth $980.25. A lot of them are deluxe sample sizes, so I'm hoping to maybe use nine. I don't know if that's a little bit, slightly over the top, but hopefully nine and we'll see. SPFs I have seven um, worth $268.50. 
Again, I would like to use three body scrub. I have six body scrubs worth $138.33. I would like to use two. Body washes, I have nine worth $179. I would like to use four. Body masks, I have three worth $96, which I don't foresee me finish, finishing any of them. Bath products, I have 15 worth $132.80. So if I say I'll use five, five I think is reasonable. Body moisturiser is, I've got 30 of them worth $901.87. If I could use five this year, I'd be quite happy. I've got 12 hand creams worth $203.19. I would like to finish two. Foot creams, I've got five worth $80.09. I would like to finish two again. And then perfumes, I've got 29 perfumes worth $1,984. And I would like to finish three, I think, this year would be three to four. Four would be great, but three of us would settle with. So yeah, that is my 2019 starting beauty inventory. I'm going to do my empties every month um, and calculate up, you know, how much I've used in both quantity and value. So do stick along with my reverse rouge challenge. And yeah, I'll be updating my beauty inventory as I go along and then I will do a beauty inventory at the end of 2019 to see what goals we met and how things changed. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been interesting and not just like completely boring listening to me talking figures, but loads of other people have been doing them and I've been really enjoying watching them. So I just thought I'd jump on the on the bandwagon and it works with my sort of makeup rehab journey that I'm trying to share with you all on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it was a lot of me like just reading figures from a book. Um, and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.